Hey guys, what's up, it's Umber here, and today I'm playing a little game called Warframe, and I am really enjoying it. Now that Activision is gone, I'm going to be talking about what it has done for new players, and if it's worth giving a shot, and what I enjoy about the game, and basically a lot of stuff so far. If you want to be Master Chief, then Titan is for you. If you want to be a futuristic space wizard floating around space and blowing up enemies with magic, then Warlock is for you. If you're 12 years old, then Hunter is for you. And alongside that, there are three different races to choose from. Human, Awoken, and Exo. Humans, if you just want to be human and make an abomination of a character. Like, let's see how ugly I can make my character. See? My character looks beautiful. Awoken if you recently went to a My Chemical Romance concert. And Exo if you want to play Warlock. Because what is better than playing as a robotic futuristic space wizard? Nothing, I'll tell you what. One thing's for certain, Destiny 2 right now is very different from the game it was when it first released in 2017. Now, I'm having a lot of fun with the new, um, New Light version. I currently do not have the Shadow Keep DLC as I am broke as fuck and I need a new job. Holler at you boy if you got some job opportunities, please, I need the money. But, um, Destiny 2 is a very fun game and it's become a lot more accessible to newer players. The game's expansion Shadow Keep released on October 1st and as a result, the game and the first two DLCs are now free to play, so you can download this game on Xbox One, PS4, or Steam. Oh, that's another thing too, they moved this uh, game from Battle.net to Steam, so I don't have to load that clunky ass launcher every time I want to launch this game. Oh, this is my character, as you can see, an Awoken Titan. As you can see, I play for the most... Um, Important reasons like uh, her armor looks really cool, and I play the female characters because uh, y You know the female characters in destiny look a lot better in armor Yeah, what I like about my classes is I really enjoy the subclasses for Titan and especially their super But um, I used to main hunter back in destiny 1 But since then I have hit puberty and I wanted to try out Titan instead this was around the time Rise of Iron came out as well. So let's check out some of the subclasses. We got one where you basically turn into motherfucking Captain America, where you can run around with a shield and bash enemies. Then you've got Sunbreaker, which is where you turn into Thor and r float around and throw hammers at people. This shit is super OP in PvP, I swear. If you see somebody with Hammer of Soul up, run. Just... No, run. And then there's Striker, where you turn into Hulk, or technically also Thor in the bridge scene in Thor Ragnarok. Ah, uh, another peaceful day patrolling this... Oh. Well shit, I thought I was alone. Okay, it looks like we've gone into a match of controls, so let's have some fun. Oh, motherfucker, I thought I was using a scout rifle at first. That was, that's why I was going single shot. Alright, looks like we got into a match, so I will sh kind of show you guys what PvP is like. What I really like is how your character is always at the front. So, this is basically what PvP is like. I'm going to show you guys real quick. I've also made some Destiny videos in the past, too, so this is not the first time I've done Destiny, uh... PvP content, or just Destiny content in general. So yeah, there's three weapons you can choose from. Auto rifles, polished rifles, and scout rifles. Automatic is pretty straightforward. Pulse rifles are basically the battle rifles from Halo, and scout rifles are the DMRs. This game is a lot like Halo's and Borderlands had very angry sex, and uh, then... The baby was taken by Bungie's abusive boyfriend, Activision. Leaving all the fun from Borderlands out for the first couple years of this game's life. Let's see if I can kill this- Oh, fuck off! 
Oh, this is real something really cool that they've um, upgraded from Destiny 1. Before, only Striker can shoulder charge, but now I don't want to... I'm too far away from the enemy to... Oh, and hey, I got a bounty done. I, I, I don't want to run away from too far to charge at them, because they'll obviously gun me down. I'm not drunk, I just drank coffee. Oh, I might have inverted... I might have accident... Why did I say inverted? WHY THE FUCK AM I DOING THESE THINGS?! Oh. I'm an actual idiot for not seeing that guy there. Also, one thing I gotta say that kind of annoys me about this PvP is assists count as kills. Like, I wanna be able to earn my own kills and I guess that's one of the downsides. Again, they've kind of made this that was the longest pause I ever took. They kind of streamlined this game a little more for newer players, but at least it's not as shitty as it was before with Activision. And I'm hoping this will put it on the right path. And kaboom! See, that's why I love playing Titan, just fucking ramming into enemies like a battering ram. I said ram twice. Point is, it's really, it's really fun to run face first. Fist first, shoulder first into enemies, and then I turn into Thor. Holy shit. Yeah, this is why I love getting my ass handed to me in PvP. It's a very different experience, like, it's easier and harder at the same time on PC. Easier because it's a lot more smooth with the higher frame rate and somewhat the mouse and keyboard, although I I'll i admit I kind of like playing this game with the controller a lot too because I played Destiny 1 and a little bit of 2 with the controller back when I played this game on console, so it's what I'm used to, but I have no problem whatsoever playing with a mouse and keyboard and since I'm playing with other players that well, mostly do the same, it's good not to put myself at a disadvantage. Oh! Sh I thought he was gonna shock in me, but I died anyways. Okay. Alright, I'm going for B. Let's go, Re Leroy Jenkins! Oh. They're coming from over there, I think. Come on, come on, come on. Capture, 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 capture. My tongue is tied. Alright. Aha! Aiming from the hip is easier when you have an MMO mask. <laughs> but reloading is not! Shit! Oh, did he just teabag me? Kill. There we go. Can I do it in time? Me. Oh, I was gonna shoulder charge him, but that works too. That works too. And also, unlike Halo, you can dance. You're winning. Stay strong. Oh, like I said, if you see a guy with Hammer of Soul, run. This thing is fucking overpowered. And I should know, I just got a bunch of kills earlier with it. And by a bunch of kills, I mean like two or three, which is not a lot. So I am... 96% sure that we are going to win this match. Alright, now we're gonna go for B. I just need to capture it and then we should be golden, like... This hunter's golden gun. Wait, no, that's an arc hunter. Never mind. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, that was close. Take that, fucking hunter. Alright, oops. That's okay. I got my super ready. Just a couple of kills and we should be able to do this. I'm gonna go for C and surprise them. I'm gonna flank them if I can, come from behind. Oh wait, never mind. Damn, I couldn't even use my super! Come on, but hey, I got a sidearm. Sidearms are definitely one of my favorite weapons. They're like the hand cannons, which are basically revolvers. And the sidearms are your pistols, and I really like sidearms. 
In conclusion, Destiny 2 is a far cry different from the game it once was when it first released in 2017, and overall, I would highly recommend it on Xbox One, PS4, and or PC. Although, if you have all three, I would highly recommend getting it for PC because it is the best experience to play on and it has the largest player base as of Shadowkeep. Anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more content, follow me on Twitter and Twitch, and I will see you guys later. I love you all, Umbra out. I'm gonna go uh, become an artist for Rule 34 purposes now.